Welcome back, Canto Crew, to another amusement video. Today we're going to be covering the age-old question of cat versus dog. Now, just about everybody seems to have a favorite between cat and dog, which can leave some Pokemon trainers out there really sad, angry, and confused. Is the Pokemon world's favorite evolution Pokemon a cat or a dog? We will be discussing that in this video. So in this video, we'll be talking about Eevee and all eight of the evolutions, whether they are a cat or a dog. But before we get into that, there's a couple things we need to cover in the meantime. The first thing we need to cover is Eevee's Pokedex entry from Pokemon.com, Pokemon Company's official website. It reads, Eevee has a very unstable genetic makeup that suddenly mutates due to the Pokemon's environment in which it lives. Radiation from various stones can cause this Pokemon to evolve. To sum it up, Eevee has a very unstable genetic makeup. The second thing we have to cover is that the Pokemon world doesn't share the same constraints that the real world does. For instance, in the Pokemon world, a useless carp can transform into a totally monstrous sea dragon. A slug can turn into a bipedal goo dragon. Pokemon, although based off animals, don't have to grow like animals do. An evolved Pokemon doesn't even have to be the same shape, type, or species as its pre-evolved form. The third thing we have to talk about is Pokemon are totally up for interpretation. I might think Magmar is a weird person duck Pokemon that fell into some magma, while you might think it's just a Jinx on fire, and that's okay. Pokemon might be based off animals, but they're not animals. And until the Pokemon world gives us information otherwise, a lot of them are up to interpretation of what you think they are. So now with that groundwork laid, it's safe to say that we can establish that Eevee can evolve into both cats and dogs. It's not totally unheard of. Between its unstable genetic makeup, the fact that Pokemon can evolve all the time into creatures that are totally different than a pre-evolved form, and the fact that a lot of it is up to interpretation, we're able to take the eight evolutions and put them in the category of cat or dog. They don't have to be one or the other until Pokemon tells us otherwise. So let's kick this video off right and start with Jolteon, the lightning Pokemon. I mean, this is one of the easier ones. Jolteon is a dog. I mean, it freaking barks in the anime. Take away the fact that it has a snout much like a dog, the day a cat barks is the day that this one will be back up for discussion. Until that day, Jolteon is going to the dogs. Much like Jolteon, this next one is also kind of an easy one. Espeon, the sun Pokemon? If you don't think this is a cat, go show a picture right now. Pause this video. Go show it to someone that knows Jack Diddley about Pokemon and ask them what it looks like. 99.99999% of them will say it's a cat. The other 0.01 are just saying it's a dog or some other creature to pull your leg or they know nothing about Jack Diddley. Now this is where things become a debate. Starting with the opposite of Espeon, Umbreon, the Moonlight Pokemon. This Pokemon has a very cat-like demeanor. Like cats, it likes to be out at night. I mean, it's the Moonlight Pokemon. When it evolves from an Eevee, it has to be happy and at night. It also has a body like a cat. But where things get kind of weird is it has a build similar to a dog. Now, I know this doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'm pretty much saying the height of its legs and kind of the frame of its body make it look like a dog. However, the head, the ears, and the tail kind of strike me to believe it's a cat. So this may be one of the more controversial picks as when I was doing research, I saw a lot of people go the other way on this one, but I think Umbreon is a cat and just barely. Next up is Flareon, the flame Pokemon. Now Flareon has a lion-like mane and it also has the temperament of a cat as well. However, the playfulness and spirit of a puppy and not to mention it also has kind of a bigger build, much like a dog. This one's another tough one though, but I'm gonna have to give Flareon to the dogs. It's not unheard of for breeds of dogs to have manes. It also seems to be more of a styling feature, much like a real life poodle, or a furfrou if you want to keep it in the Pokemon world. I'm pretty confident on naming Flareon a dog, so we're gonna move this one to a 2-2 tie in the evolutions. So let's start it off with obviously another close one, Leafeon the Verdant Pokemon. Now, obviously most of these evolutions are going to be close ones. 
If they weren't, there wouldn't be much of a discussion to have. Now, that being said, when I started this, I was ready to chalk Leafy on up as a dog almost immediately. But then I started to look at it more, and it started to become more close. Then I started to watch some film, the anime, the games, and some other observations. And I totally seemed to have flopped my opinion. I'm decently convinced that Leafy on is a cat. But still, hard to say, I really see a dog at first glance. I mean, the first picture I saw of this thing, it looked like a ferocious leaf covered wolf. However, the longer I stared at it, even that same picture, it's magically started to change to a cat right in front of my eyes. But what really set me over on this one? I mean, it licks its paw when it comes out of the Pokeball. Hashtag cat move. Okay, so we've established that Leafeon's a cat. What about its generational buddy, Glaceon, the fresh snow Pokemon? Glaceon is an interesting one, much like Leafeon. In fact, if you were celebrating cat lovers about Leafeon, I might be about to disappoint you. This guy or gal, much like Leafeon, seemed to be one right off the bat. I was leaning cat, but I seem to have flipped, and now I think it's a dog? Other than those floppy bangs, if you look at this, it resembles much of a real life Siberian or Malamute Husky. And the more I look at it, even though when I first glance, I think cat, I think it's just because of those bangs. Then the longer I look at it, between the tail and the ears, I start to see a dog. It also kind of has a snout as we previously determined is a dog-like feature with Jolteon. So even though it's close, I'm giving Glaceon to the pooches. Now if you melted your Glaceon with your Flareon, you would get our next evolution, Vaporeon, the Bubble Jet Pokemon. Now this guy was easier than most, and if we're being honest, I saved it towards the end just because I wanted to use that Flareon Glaceon joke. I mean, this guy is 90% cat even on its worst day. If you take away the fact of loving water, this is pretty much a swimming cat dolphin. This one's a no-brainer in my opinion. Vaporeon is a cat. That leaves, last but not least, the newest of the evolutions, Sylveon, the intertwining Pokemon. I can hear the cat lovers cheering from here. It's all over. Cats win, 5-3, cats win. But in the words of my good friend Lee Corso, not so fast, my friend. Yes, this is a very feminine Pokemon. Hell, it's even a fairy type and has frickin' ribbons. But, cats and dogs are both male and female, meaning cats can be masculine and dogs can be feminine. Therefore, just because it's a feminine-like Pokemon doesn't necessarily chalk it up to the cats. Now, this Pokemon evolves by its affection level with its trainer. Now, dogs are way more affectionate than most cats. Plus, if you get rid of the ribbons and the goofy-shaped head, it starts to look more and more like a dog. Then if you take away the pink, it's a spitting image of a dog. Even the tail and ears. The tail is what really did it in for me. It looks much more like a tail that would whack. Much like the ears. It just looks more like a dog. So as a dog person, I wanted to give this one to the cats. I mean, this looks like a creature that was made to be a cat. But I just can't do it. For how much I want to give it to you, the cats, because I honestly think it's almost a disgrace to give it to the dogs. I just think if you take away the ribbons and get rid of the pink, it's a dog. All right, so that leaves our competition tied at 4-4, which means there's only one way to settle this, and that's in the comment section down below. And that's based on what you think these evolutions are, including Eevee itself. Now, for how fun this video was to make, I think we need to get a little bit into the Pokemon lore and actually discuss this topic a little bit more on a real level, and the fact that Eevee and its evolutions are most likely based off of a fox. Foxes come in all shapes and sizes and attitudes, like the Red Fox and the Arctic Fox, which evolved to its environment, much like Eevee's Pokedex environment, or Pokedex entry says it will. Also, there's stuff like the Fennec Fox, which is a totally different size and looks way more like a cat than other foxes do. I mean, if you look at these three pictures and tell me none of them look like an Eevee or Evolution, you're just crazy. So I think it's safe to say that Eevee and its Evolutions are most likely based off of a fox. And I can hear the hashtag Eevee is a cat people right now. Foxes have retractable claws, so don't be pointing out at that one. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, my Kanto crew. It was a lot of fun to bring it to you, so look for more EV videos and stuff similar coming out soon. Now, if you would, I'd really like it if you left me a subscription. It's by hitting that little red box down below or the logo at the end of this video. It really helps out the channel, 
And if you give a sub and a like, your next Eevee in Sun and Moon will be a shiny. I promise. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you comment down below on which evolutions are cats, which evolutions are dogs. Because I really want to hear from you guys. I think it's very interesting. I mean, that's all I really got for you today. So make sure you do that. And like I said, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And share this with all your friends. Uh, until next time, it doesn't matter if it's Eevee's a cat. Or it doesn't matter if you think Eevee's a dog. Because Eevee is a fox. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next video.